Welcome back to Super Mario Maker 2 everyone, uh, this is Colin here, and this video is all going to be about, we're going to use and talk about all the gizmos there are in Super Mario Maker 2, so let's get started with some of the gizmos. So the first gizmo we have is the burners, and I reminded you a lot of times that also these things can be used with the pop-up menu, so you'll see what happens. They fire, and you cannot step on it. They stop for a second, but when they fire again, if you on the right place where the burner is touching, then you will die. And the difference between this is that two of them will fire once, and then the second, when the two burners go out, the one in the middle goes on. So, the one in the middle goes off, that means the two on the sides go on, so... You can see them alternating every time. So that's what the first gizmo is about. So don't touch it when it's flaming. Otherwise, you will be d dead because you're too hot. And this is a twister, which they have to be in the platform. They can raise you up high, but not as really high. There are some saying in the gizmo section that will raise you even higher. And they will keep going in one direction, so they will not keep alternating from left to right. And they're kind of like, they have one similarity to Koopas. They do not fall off the edge, they just will go back when they touch the edge. That's the twister. Now we have the icicle. Once you get near it, you, you die because they're falling towards you and you don't want to get icy cold fired. So I recommend you using these in the snow stages because they're ice, spiky ice things. So I recommend you using them in snow, but they can work for other scenes as well. But the best thing to use is snow for this. They're, they're also a different type. These ones uh, don't fall on you, so the light blue ones fall and the the, the blue ones don't fall. They're just stationary. You, you just don't you just don't touch the tippity top or else you die. That applies for the same for the light blue ones. Next we have the cannon, which cannons are dangerous sometimes. They shoot cannons at you and they shoot in one direction. You can also use the pop-up menu for this. You can aim that in any direction. Also what's cool, make them bigger, shoot faster. That's the difference and you can use these in your stages. They're really cool. Same for the Bill Blaster. Except the Bill Blaster, you'll notice the difference between between when I put two. And like I said, if you put stuff like that inside the ground, they'll automatically disappear because they're squished in and they don't belong over there. So you see the difference between when I when I put two out. So. So the gray one keeps going in one direction, but the red one keeps turning around and keeps aiming towards you. And then it just, once it resigns, it just goes back in the direction. Same for the bonsai bills. We have two types. The, the gray ones go straight, but the red ones will just aim towards you. That applies for the same for the bullet bill, or similar to bullet bills. So, we discussed all the gizmos in this section over here. Now we have the key. And the key, you take the key, but you touch the key. This is what I talked about getting the pink coins. When you collect all the pink coins, there was a key that appears. And if you don't have a key door, the key will automatically disappear. But if you do have a key door, you have the key. And you can use the key to 
can't lock it. And they can, and the doors can be used, the pop up menus as well. This one's a key door because it has a lock on it. This one's a lock door so you can just like go through it. And this is just like an example. There's no point in putting a door over here because it's just right next to each other. And you notice, I'm just showing it as an example. So this one's locked, you need a key. And you'll notice the difference between these. They look like P doors, but first, when you play the level or when you see the doors, they're invincible. You need some kind of switch to turn them on. And like I said, that you can also use the, the P switch as well to activate these doors. So when I press the P switch, you have the doors. You have a little bit of time reaction to to get through the other doors as fast time as you can. Otherwise, it will disappear. Sometimes seconds will be a little bit different, but mostly it's just the same. So that's the P door. So we have three types of doors, the warp door, the P door, and the key door. Now, this might be very interesting gizmo because this is the gizmo that I talked about that can only destroy these guys. So any ability or any power will destroy these guys, but these things are very powerful. They can't destroy everything, but they can destroy most of the things. Like, boom, take them out very smoothly. Boom. So those are the only thing you can take them out. You can also take them out with like some of these enemies when you turn them into hats or something. So for example, if I make this guy have the wings, you can also push him up there. Also, you can kill him with this as well. If you have the spiky hat, boom, dead. So this might be the gizmo that you're wondering. You can't kill it with a superstar. Oh, I gotta kill it with this then. So next we have the, uh, the trampoline. And the trampoline, you can use it to bounce very high. Pretty much the same as a twister. Pretty much the same height as a twister. And you can also use the pop-up menu as well. This will just knock you back. What's funny reaction is that if you do this, That's pretty funny. You can also use this boom. Also use this. Bounce really hard. Can bounce as many times as you want. That's the trampoline. Now we have the vines, which you can use them to make volume like climb and they can also be used in levels to experiment like how high you can throw something so these are the wines and you can also make some kind of like bonus reward over here I'm just going to showcase coins for now you guys can uh, make your own levels with these so if I climb with these wines I get a couple of extra coins so I'm just gonna leave it there for some decoration. Now, next we have the arrow sign, which the arrow sign, you can make the player go in either direction. You can make them go this way, you can make them go down, but there is no path down, so there's no point in putting an arrow sign if the player cannot go down. So you can make the player go in any direction, for example, the first episode, I talk about terrains. You can go through this down this pipe. Make players go down this pipe. And, and you can also trip them with arrow signs. So for example, you can make the arrow sign and force the player to go down there. And it can be a bunch of coins. Or it can just be like a falling of a doom. Like pit of doom, so you gotta be careful. Oh, so when the player goes over here, what? It's a pit of doom. So you can 
can trick players like that, so you can trick them. So, next we have the checkpoint flag. And I'm just showing the checkpoint flag. I'm going to build some more terrain because this is just the beginning of the level, so you don't need a checkpoint flag at this point. For example, if this was the checkpoint flag, you can only put one in the level, but if you have a pipe and it leads to a new area, you can put another one in the pipe area. So you can put two checkpoints, and that applies for the same of only if you can put one item in each level. That applies with the same, you can put another one in the pipe area. So that's the checkpoint flag. You can just use them for fun, or if a player is thinking that a level is too hard, you can make them stop for a while, stop for a while, and then just keep going. When they die, they will just automatically respawn from here, start over from here again. So you can make put a checkpoint flag if enemies are too difficult, if jumps are too difficult, if the level is already in the middle or some hard things are going on before the middle you can do that so we discuss all of the scenes the gizmos in this section which are not in the new update over here so next we have the lift and like i said this one's a new update so we're gonna skip that and i'm gonna showcase this in like another episode now next we have the lifts and they move in whatever direction the arrow is pointing. They go like left or right, and you can make them go any direction. And for example, I can make this one go up. I can make this one go down. I can make this one go right. So you can see the lips going in many different directions. One's going up, one's going down, one's going left, one's going right. I put five, so basically, Two are going up and the rest are going in different directions. Just to show you guys how these things work. And you can also use the pop-up menu for these. For the flimsy lift, if you stand on them for one second, they fall and you gotta make sure to jump at the right time or if you fall to your doom as well. The lifts with wings, flimsy lifts with wings, was slow fall very slowly, much slower than a flimsy lift without wings because the wings give them extra support so you see that. So next we have the lava lift which is a cap which you use them in castle lava but you can also use them in here. In New Super Mario Deluxe in the Superstar world there is a much bigger lava lift and it's not called a lava lift it's just like a bonus level that you use when you completed all the main stuff in that game so this lava lift is similar to the new super mario bros deluxe one u deluxe but the new super mario bros u deluxe is much longer so next we have the uh the swing claw and like i said for the lava lift you can also use the uh, the pop-up menu for these you can also make one that goes super duper fast and it will automatically fall as well, so be careful of that. Next we have the swing claw, so... They grab you, and... They grab you until the, if you, you can let go, but you can do a big swing. If players want you to jump that far, so we can jump. And we can do like a couple of turns to make us extend even farther. So that's the swinging claws, and you cannot use the pop-up menu for these things. Like I said, some you can, some you can't. This is the skewer. And you'll notice if I put a couple of terrain stuff in here. So, for example, let's put, let's put all of these terrain things in here to showcase this. This seems very powerful, it can break through the blocks, but you can watch this, boom, breaks through all of them at once. It can't break all the hard blocks at once, cause if you, like it can't, 
It only breaks one at a time because it's hard block. It can just go through all of them at a time. The classic block, it can just go right through and dig all of them at once. And like I said, you can play around with the stuff you did earlier, like all the wines you did. So that's the skewer. And none of these things can break the flat solid ground, so you can see that, boom, it can't do anything with the flat solid ground. So we did the skewer, now we're onto our seesaw, and you can make these longer, and the seesaw is kind of like a playground seesaw. When you're on the right side, the left side goes high because it's unbalanced. When you go on the left side, the right side on top, it's also unbalanced. But I want to stay in the middle to make it balanced, so if you go on either side to make it unbalanced, you go in the middle, you make it balanced. And like I said, you can also put enemies on, on the top of this. Like, you can also pick big, big bosses and pick big bosses, put big bosses in like, on the seesaws. And like I said, the wiggler is like, really unbalanced, unbalancing the seesaw. And it's going after you, so you gotta be careful. So next we have the grinder. The grinder is saying that it can hurt you once you step on it. And these cannot be killed because they're called gizmos. That's why they're called gizmos. So you gotta make sure not to step on them. God, if a player puts so many grinders in a level, you gotta make sure to have a very good momentum jump and you can pass through these grinders. Next we have the bumpers. And these bumpers will help us escort the, the grinders. So. You can't jump really far with the bumpers, which is kind of a shame. But if you hold the jump button, you can jump a little bit far, but I don't think you can jump over like two grinders. Like I said, like the second bumper, when we were at the very edge, we landed on the very tip of the second grinder. So, we pretty much discussed everything in this, in this section, all the gizmos in this section. So now, this is the last section of this game style. So we have the on and off switch. And putting an on and off switch, only one on and off switch without a block that connects with the on and off switch, it has no point, it's just for fun. What I want to do is, you can put the on and off blocks and they'll automatically turn. So off means there's no red blocks, on means there is red blocks and you can use the pop-up menu as well. So if we put all of this in here and if we put like um, a couple gizmos over here, make this one super big. So next we have the snake block, which is the snake block. There are two different types. One moves slow and one moves slightly a little bit faster. And you can make it go like any direction. This is just no point because I'm just showing it as an example. It's just going like the same repetition process every time. It's just going left, right, left, right. But for example, like this is the limit of how like, there's a limit on, on how, like, long you can move this, and this is the limit. You can't make this any longer. This is the absolute limit. And that's how, so fast, this is uh, slightly a little bit faster. And like I said, when I release these blocks, you can also increase the size of the sneak block if it's a too hard for players. Make it longer, make them more space to move around. And just something like that, so that's cool. So, next we 
activate the fireball, which I recommend you using these in castle levels because the fireball bars and they can be called as fireball change. And use Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe and all the other Mario games and use all of these fireball bars or change, chains to represent that if you're getting close to Bowser's domain or territory. So you can make them as long as you want, but there's like a max of how long you can make them. So it's just spinning around every time. So now we have the uh, so you can don't make them too long or else they they will be too hard to make players go through. So next we have the uh, the one way wall over here. The one way wall prevents Mario from from going back after you, so you can't go back. But there's a space if you can jump you can go back. But I'm making a a spot that you cannot jump back. I die. And if you go so that you die. And it does not allow you to go back. And you can make them go in any direction. So you can feel free to change it. Next we have the conveyor belts. Which I'll be showcasing an episode. Of how these things can be so cool. So you have to keep pace up with it. You can't just stand there. You can't. You have to fight it. And you can also make these faster by using the pop-up menu as well. And you can also make them have switches going and track to, to them. Last but not least, we have the uh, the track for before we end off this game style. So the track, I just made a really random track. We can put like all sorts of gizmos and enemies on it. So you can just have fun with it. Put as many gizmos, not all gizmos or enemies can work, but most of them will work. So I'm just putting like so many gizmos you can do for here. And I'll showcase it. So like I said, you can't put a checkpoint on there. We're gonna put, we're gonna put like a Bowser on it. And we can also put his, his son on it as well. So you can see them interacting and then we can make a little bit of a platform over here to see them move in different directions. And you can also make them turn in different directions to However, the track is moving. So, we pretty much discussed all the gizmos in this game style. And that is the end of the episode. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.